Hey everybody, it's Mason with Newbart. Hey, Matt from Newbart, thanks for joining. Yeah. So today we, we briefly wanna talk about um, how schools are implementing a contactless environment moving forward. Obviously our students and staff, we wanna make sure everybody's staying as safe as possible, wearing face masks, keeping six feet apart, social distancing, but you know, how are schools implementing uh, different features on the student ID card to help with that contactless environment as well. So I know one big thing that's been in the school system for a long time is utilizing barcodes. So barcodes students are utilizing in the lunch lines, they're utilizing for uh, checking out books in the library. We even have some elementary schools that use barcodes to check out students onto the bus as opposed to right. having to type in uh, their ID number on a numeric pad or you know fill it out with a pen and paper, or however you may doing that, be doing that process now. So using a barcode and a simple barcode scanner, you're able to you know, check in, check out people, you're able to uh, you know, deduct funds from student accounts. Um, so that's one thing that we see, you know, right. elementary, middle school, high school, even higher education using. Um, and another feature that people put on the card, which we'll show you here, is a, a QR code. So a QR code you can direct to a certain page on a website. You can, uh, I know for some school districts here locally in Houston, they use a QR code which logs a student onto the computer and it, you know, uh, it logs them on in a personalized almost platform for the student right. to learn to be able to pick up on the last lesson that they were just learning. Um, so not having once again to type in on anything, it's, it's all completely contactless. So what are some other things that schools can implement? Sure, and those things that? are what schools that you mentioned are things that schools have been doing all along, just on different levels. Mm -hmm. uh, now it's a more important. Um, newest thing that we have now is, the, of course, the temperature scanners. Sure. Uh, we've got two different ones. We have one geared just towards education, uh, which is our scholarship system, which uses a smart card to uh, have contactless tap-ins for the students in and out of the building. Even the visitor manager has your visitors coming in for contactless, but it also has their temperature scanner, which is just a tablet that shows the student's face and they look through the camera, does the temperature scan on there and gives you, uh, you know, the temperature uh, as it reads out or where whatever your threshold is, you can do it. We also have one that's geared for all industries that won't show the actual photo, but it'll have a red light or green light for you to decide your threshold on what your secondary protocol is if there's a possible temperature on there. And all of this stuff is brand new to all of us. This is the new normal. And we're here if for anything that you need to try to help to make the transition as smooth and safely as possible. Sure. So if you guys have any questions, feel free to reach out to us. Yep. Uh, sales at Newbart or visit newbart.com to learn more. That's it.